Hello everyone, uh, my name is Harry Sidhu. I work with Remax Mountain View. As you know, the market in Calgary is quite challenging right now um, when it comes to selling properties. We call this buyer's market. Uh, in buyer's market, basically, there is a lot of inventory that is available and there aren't that many buyers. And at the same time, people who are looking to buy, make a purchase right now, they just have so much to choose from. So. I'm just going to give you some tips today that will help you sell your property faster. Um, just keep in mind that if you follow all this, the whole process, at the end of the day, there are great chances that you will sell your property actually much faster uh, than the other properties that are just sitting in the market. So number one thing that you need to do, you need to make sure that your, your property is likable. So when people are coming to take a look at your property, they they like the property so first of all that you need to do that you already know that there are some repairs that need to be done uh, make sure that those are all done if you think you need paint need to paint some walls uh, you know paint those walls um, the other thing that you know uh, sometimes we forget because we're just living in our home and it is our home and uh, we just do not make sure that other people who are coming to take a look at our property how are they going to actually take that uh, so declutter it make sure that all the extra things that you have sitting in your home that you know you take them out uh, make sure that it looks nice uh, to do that what you can also actually hire a uh, staging professional they can come to your place they can give you advice if you just need advice if you want to hire them you can hire them and they can actually uh, stay the property for you uh, it would look much nicer the second thing that you need to do is is price it right pricing is really important uh, when it is slow market just like as it is right now um, the one thing that you need to make sure that you know you work with somebody who actually can show you all the stats in the market they can really guide you through what you what your property should be listed at uh, the market is not strong even if you think that you should list it 10,000 or 20,000 higher than what it should be. Uh, if you try to do that, what happens, buyers will not come and take a look at your property. Even though your property might be the best property out there, they will not come just because they feel like they can get other properties at much lower price and they can't. Uh, they won't look at yours just because it's priced higher and they feel like that you might not even negotiate or come down that much so you need to keep that in mind and the third thing is that you know you need to hire a uh, industry professional like a professional agent who really knows what is going through the market who really understands the market who can actually show you what's going on in the market who can give you proper advice now when it comes to actually um, hiring a professional you need to also ask them what is their marketing plan um, if they are just going to put it on the MLS it's not going to be that easy to sell as you know that you know the, that marketing that was done actually five or ten years ago now these days it's not as effective as it was so now these days we all know that you need to market on, on social media and you have to have presence on the internet where people are going and searching those properties and all that kind of stuff. They need to have a good website and where they can actually drive their traffic to. These things really matter. When you hire a professional who's not going to do any of that stuff for you, then basically you are not actually uh, getting much exposure for your property and you're not actually reaching those buyers who are effectively looking in the market right that that moment uh, so make sure you hire somebody who can get all that stuff done for you and ask them that question that what is your marketing plan then the third fourth thing that you can do you you need to do is, is you need to be more flexible uh, flexible in a way that you know um, that when somebody is coming to take a look at your property you might ask for one hour or two hour uh, notice or something like that but if you actually try to tell them that you can't show the property after these hours uh, or, or you're not like for any given reason that you know they can't look at uh, certain hours basically you're blocking them uh, from not looking at your property and because it is buyers market people will move on they will just go and look at the other properties that they can see and uh, and they will just leave yours so you need to be a little more flexible with your time 
so people can come and take a look at your property and who knows to sell your property you only need one buyer you don't need more than that and the fifth thing that you need to do is actually work with the offer that comes in you know this is where a industry professional can really really help you now what happens a lot of times you know you get low ball offer and you feel like oh I'm not dealing with these people they think my property is worth that much and I'll tell you one thing in this market even when I'm working with somebody and a offer comes in I don't give up till the, everybody they, they say we're done we're not going to pay you more than this um, so basically when the offer comes in if, if the industry professional is good at what he does is good at negotiating they can actually get you the price that you want they just need to be good at doing all this um, so work with every offer that comes in when you do all this stuff then it well there are a lot more chances that you'll sell your property and you so you can move with your plans whatever you have uh, in, in future that you're trying to do even though you are thinking to work with uh, someone else I mean it's always good to have second opinion uh, you can definitely give me a call and uh, I will definitely provide you the advice that you need uh, please contact me at 403-689-2345 thanks for watching